Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Morgan Zvangirai Morgan Richard Zvangirai was a Zimbabwean politician and prime minister from 2009 to 2013. He was born on the 10th of March 1952 and died on the 14th of February 2018. Morgan Van Gurai was an opposition leader and trade union activist, especially against the policies of President Robert Mugabe. He was born in the Buhera area, southern Rhodesia, to Zingirai Chibwe Zvangirai and Lydia Zvangirai Ni Zvaipa. Zvangirai happened to be the first of nine children of his Karanga Shona's parents. His father, Zingirai Chibwe, was a communal farmer, mine worker, carpenter, and bricklayer. Zvangirai attended St. Mark's Guneso Primary School, Hwedza, and was later transferred to Chikara Primary School, Gatu, then to Silveira. He also attended Gokumere High School for his secondary education and graduated with eight ordinary levels in April 1972. His first job was as a trainee weaver for Elastic Tapes Textile Factory in Mutare. Zvangirai went on to work at Bindura Nickel Mine in Mashona Land Central. He spent 10 years at the mine and was made the plant supervisor after starting at the mine as a plant operator. He joined the Zimbabwe African National Union Political Front ZANU-PF party, the party that won the first election upon Zimbabwean independence in 1980. Zvangirai started his activism as the branch chairman of the Association of Mine Workers Union, where he was able to play a major role in the Zimbabwean trade union. As the Secretary General of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Union ZCTU, he led the union away from the ruling Zanun PF, which gave more power to him as the movement grew, making the relationship between the union and government to decline. Zvangirai also served as chairman of the National Constitutional Assembly, which was established in 1997. He began his political career fully after leaving his position as the chairman of the National Constitutional Assembly in 1999. Along with a member of the task force of the National Constitutional Assembly, Welshman Nkube, as well as Gibson Sibanda, Fletcher Dwilini Nkube, and Isaac Metongo, Zvangirai founded and organized the Movement for Democratic Change MDC. It was founded to oppose President Robert Mugabe and the ruling party, ZANU-PF. Zvangirai played a major role in defeating the government's constitutional reform bill in February of the year 2000. The bill, which included clauses to extend President Mugabe's rule as well as other issues, were successfully campaigned against by him. The MDC had support from the ZCTU, which was formerly under the ZANU-PF. MDC had a step in the right direction in the June 2000 parliamentary elections as they won almost the same seats as the ruling ZANU-PF. Zvangirai has been arrested severally for his political activism. In 2002, before the presidential election in which he was a candidate, he was charged with treason for allegedly plotting to assassinate Robert Mugabe. The case was in court for a long period until he was acquitted. He was charged with treason again in 2003 after calling for mass protests to overthrow the long-serving Mugabe but was acquitted once again. The MDC, however, had a major setback in 2005. The party had different opinions regarding its participation in the national Senate election. This led to a split in the party. Zvangirai led one faction while Arthur Mutambara was the leader of the other faction. Zvangirai tried to mend the broken fences after he was released by the Zimbabwean police. He and other party members were brutally attacked and imprisoned. After his release from the prison, 
Zvangurai tried all he could to settle scores with his party and the general public. He defended himself against state-controlled media propaganda and other issues as he prepared for the 2008 elections as MDC presidential candidate for the second time. He ran for the March 29, 2008 presidential election along with Mugabe and Simba Makuni. When the result of the first round was collated, the results released by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission showed 47.9% votes in favor of Zvangirai and 432 in favor of Mugabe. A runoff was declared because none of the candidates had the necessary 50% and above vote to be declared the winner. The MDC, however, claimed they won an outright victory in the first round with 50.3% of the votes. Zvangirai, who was away in South Africa during the election, declared to have a runoff with Mugabe. However, the election was delayed against his wish. He couldn't return home as the election approached, a move that the MDC said was as a result of an attempt on his life by the ruling party. He eventually returned and tried to pull out of the presidential race due to a reported manipulation by the ruling party. Nevertheless, the election was held and Mugabe was declared the winner. The 2008 election was closely watched by independent observers and the world. It was said to be neither free nor fair. The fact that the election was even held, as well as the outcome, were condemned by most of the governments of the African countries. The countries which had previously supported Mugabe were also against it. That led to the suggestion for the sharing of power between Zvangirai's MDC and Mugabe's ZANU-PF. Zvangirai and Mugabe finally met after a decade on July 22, 2008 in Harare. Negotiations for this course was made by the Southern African Development Community SADC, and led by the then South African President Thabo Mbeki. At the end of the negotiations, Thabo Mbeki announced in Harare that Robert Mugabe, Arthur Mutambara, and Zvangirai signed the power sharing agreement. Mugabe continued as president even though he surrendered day to day control of the government. Zvangirai became the prime minister while Mutambara became the deputy prime minister. Zvangirai was in that post from the 15th of February 2009 to 11th of September. 2013. Morgan Zvangirai was a recipient of many awards, among which are Honorary Degree of Doctor of Law by Pai Chai University. He was the 13th recipient of the honorary degree from the institution. He married his wife Susan in 1978. The union was blessed with six children during their 31 year marriage which was ended with Susan's death in an auto crash in 2009. Zvangirai, however, remarried Elizabeth Macheka in September 2012. The famous Zimbabwean politician's estimated net worth is estimated to be between $500,000 to $1 million. In June 2016, Zvangirai announced that he had been diagnosed with cancer and was undergoing treatment. That was unlike many African leaders. He eventually died on the 14th of February 2018 in Johannesburg, South Africa. What's your take on Zvangirai as an African leader? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.